Hi guys, we're going to do some IELTS writing. We're going to do general training writing task two. So if you go to EnglishDiary.net and then click on IELTS practice, and then you will find this page, IELTS general training writing task one and two practice. There are a lot of different ones you can choose from. And this time we're going to do uh, number one, practice questions one. Okay, so let's scroll down the page and we will find task two. So spend 40 minutes on this task. Task one is 20, task two is 40. So this one is twice the time and we need to write at least 250 words. Okay, let's start our timer, start. Many people think that living in a big city is better because there are more job opportunities and things to do. However, others believe that life in the countryside is more peaceful and healthy. Discuss the benefits of both living in a big city and in the countryside. Give your view and explain why using examples from your own life or things you've heard or read. Okay, so this is going to be a kind of comparison essay comparing the good things about A and the good things about B and then saying which one you think is best. Okay, so let's make a quick essay plan because we've got 40 minutes. So it's worth spending a couple of minutes writing a plan. So as always, we need introduction. Um, what is the, uh, the discussion points? Um, we can also use book sentence, which gets people interested. Okay. So that's the introduction. And then because we're comparing two things, let's talk about the first thing which in this case will be life in a big city. Um, so let's talk about the uh, good things, bad things. So what are some of the good things about life in a big city? Convenience, uh, lots of people, lots of jobs. Um, things to see and do. Bad things. Maybe it's noisy. Maybe um, expensive home, expensive homes. Um, traffic might be bad. Um, maybe there is crime. Some cities, maybe there is more crime. Um, what other things? Maybe pollution. Okay, who knows? Okay, now we will move on to the second thing, which is going to be life in countryside. <clears throat> life in the countryside. Okay, so again, we want to talk about good things. And they might be um, lots of open space, um, clean air, uh, cheaper homes. Um, maybe lower crime, less, oh, we said cleaner. Okay, less pollution. Um, quiet, usually quiet. Maybe some places in the countryside are, are noisy. Maybe if you live on a farm, maybe it's noisy sometimes. Um, and then the bad things. Um, far from um, other people maybe there is less to do um let's just see ah uh, maybe fewer jobs fewer jobs um inconvenient maybe you need a car um i think that is probably enough 
And then we're going to have a conclusion. And here we are going to um, summarize the two uh, things. And we are going to compare them. And give your view and explain why using examples from your own life or things you've heard or read. Um, <clears throat> give our preference. Okay, so you can see that took, it took about five minutes. But the thing is now it will be much easier to write the whole essay. So let's begin the introduction. What is the key discussion point? Well, here it is. Many people think that living in a big city is better. Um, so let's say um, people's opinions vary about whether life in, let's say, urban areas or the countryside is preferable. Um, In this essay, I will explain why I believe you should. Look at this. Book sentence, get people interested. If I want to get people interested, I should say something which makes them want to read more. So that might be, in this essay, I will explain why I believe you should avoid city life and move to the countryside as soon as possible right i don't really think this but it's just uh, something to write in the essay okay so <clears throat> we've got our key discussion points and our hook sentence i probably need to write a little bit more in this introduction but we will check our work out later. Maybe we can add to it. OK, so the first thing, life in a big city. Let's talk about the good things. In a big city, there are many advantages for people. Convenience. One of these is the convenience. It is um, it is extremely easy to find amenities like shops, restaurants, hospitals, dentists, banks. Um, maybe we can say uh, exercise facilities and so on. Okay. Um, so that's convenience done. Lots of people. Um, it is possible to meet a wide variety of people from all walks of life within a city due to the, uh, the dense population um, <clears throat> lots of jobs in a city there are likely to be more employment opportunities in light of the larger number of companies, um, offices, uh, jobs, and so on. Okay. Uh, what do we need next? We need things to see and do. So let's say another, uh, another, let's not say advantage, another perk of life in a built-up area. Do you see I'm using 
a variety of language. I'm not just saying um, another, another, another. I'm trying to use a variety. Um, and I'm not just saying city, city, city. I'm trying to say things like built up area. So try to vary your language. That's a good thing. Another perk of life in a built up area is um, there, there tends to be an abundance of activities and places to spend your time. All right. Um, bad things. And some of the disadvantages of city life includes um, too much noise. Um, high prices of property, so homes, um, dense traffic, higher crime, and pollution. So this time, actually, I've done all of them in one sentence, so I kind of rushed through those a little bit. So maybe I want to choose one or two and go into more detail here. Um, why don't we choose the traffic? Okay, so in particular, traffic can be an inconvenience, uh, especially um, during rush hour when commuters are going to or from work. Um, <clears throat> let's choose another one. Why don't we say pollution? Um, another issue that uh, causes problems in urban areas, cities, is the poor air quality caused by um, pollution from cars, factories, and so on. Okay. Um, let's just check the question again. It's good to always keep the question in mind. Um, Give your view and explain why using examples from your own life or things you've heard or read. Now, we can mostly do that during the conclusion, but maybe we want to hint at it now during this first paragraph. So maybe we will say, um, personally, I find city life to be overwhelming and stressful. And I feel it can be bad for people's health. Okay. I don't really think that, but it's just, just an opinion for this essay. Okay. I think that is enough for this first paragraph where we talked about the first point. So um, we can make it two paragraphs. It's It's... I mean, it's one thing, but we can make it two paragraphs because it's basically good things about the city, bad things about the city. Let's make it two paragraphs. That's fine. OK, second things, life in the countryside. Um, good things. So as for life in the countryside, um, there are many things people um, find Pleasant. Also open space. One of these is the uh, large amount of open space that can be enjoyed compared to a city. Um, we can link these two open space and clean air. Let's link these. This contributes to clean air and a 
Hope you guys like Okay, cheaper homes. Um, due to the lower population density and the amount of space available, homes tend to be cheaper in, let's say, rural areas. In rural areas. Um, lower crime. Uh, since there are fewer people, it is usually the case that um, you experience less crime in the countryside. Quiets. Ah, oh, okay. Let's move this down. Um, but uh, as there are a lot uh, fewer people and cars in the countryside, um, it tends to be much more peaceful and quiet. <clears throat> Okay, so we talked about the good things. Let's talk about the bad things. Nevertheless, how about that? Nevertheless, uh, life is not perfect if you live in a rural area. And um, one downside is uh, living far from other people. Um, this can make it hard to make friends or um, new people. Less to do. Less to do. Okay. So, since the countryside tends to be filled with things like farms and forests um, there are fewer things to do if you enjoy um, urban life uh, in particular uh, young people tend to find the countryside less interesting than cities. Uh, fewer jobs. There may be fewer chances of finding a job um, unless you are willing to do um, work in places like farms. Oops, okay. Um, so, I need a car. Um, you're likely to need your own car as well since um, public Transportation in the countryside is usually very limited compared to cities. Okay, so again, we've done the good things and the bad things. And again, I think making that into two paragraphs is fun. Um, <clears throat> so all we need to do now is our conclusion. And we are going to be using examples from your own life or things you've heard or read. Okay, so conclusion. Summarize the two things. We have looked at our uh, city life and country life are uh, very 
fairly unique, fairly um, different from each other in terms of what you can what you can do and how your life will be. How about that? Um, <clears throat> we have uh, we have discussed um, the pros and cons of each, such as um, convenience, uh, cost of living, air quality, and safety. We mentioned we mentioned crime, so we can say safety. So let's summarize the two things. Compare them. Um, so we could say um, city life tends to be um, at a much faster pace and involve a lot more consumption, whereas country life tends to be um, slower and change uh, change less often um, that's a short comparison maybe we can add a bit more maybe we can say uh, let's choose a particular point um, how about this in the city you tend to be in a small space with a lot of people However, in the city you tend to be in a small space with a lot of people whereas in the countryside you are usually in a large open space with very few people Okay, give our preference. This is the time to talk about our own experiences and the things that we have read or heard. So why don't we say something like, I will make up a story. When I was very young, I lived in the countryside with my family on a farm. I loved the quiet slow way of life and the way that everybody knew each other <clears throat> um, when I turned 18 I moved to the big city and didn't I won't use a contraction and did not enjoy it at all um, the main reason was I, I found it too congested and the cost of living was, the cost of living came as a shock to me. All right. Um, I think I should add a little bit more about my preference and my own experience. Um, I also found that people in big cities tended to be less friendly to one another compared to people living in rural places. Um, so it also said we should talk about um, things you've heard or read. Uh, I've read an interesting article that said, what should we say? It said people in Big cities are twice as likely 
to get sick as people in the countryside due to factors such as poor air quality, um, overcrowding, and stress. <clears throat> okay, I don't know if that's true. This is just I'm just saying this for the uh, for the essay. Um, <clears throat> so we should wrap it up. We should give a final conclusion. Therefore, um, I have a strong preference for living in the countryside countryside and I would strongly recommend others to also make this choice okay so we've given our preference um, we've compared them a little bit and we've summarized the things okay so uh let's check we answered everything many people think that living in a big city is better others believe life in the countryside is more peaceful and healthy discuss the benefits of both so we did that we talked about the benefits of city life and country life um give your view and explain why yep i think we did that quite well using examples from your own life again i think we did that <clears throat> you can see we still have 14 minutes left let's stop that and you should write at least 250 words we wrote a lot we wrote 690 um so that is more than enough okay so if you scroll down the page you will find task two example answers we've got band five band seven and band nine let's look at band seven because it's kind of in the middle so uh, living in a big city or in the countryside both have their advantages many people are attracted to city life because of the job opportunities we mentioned that and the bustling lifestyle in contrast others prefer the tranquility and health benefits of the countryside so again we talked about these things didn't we Tranquility, so this means peace and quiet. Big cities are often economic hubs, providing a wide array of job opportunities. For instance, my cousin Maria moved to New York City for her career in finance, a sector that thrives in large cities. So what we have here is the writer is giving personal examples. <clears throat> um, Cities also offer a variety of entertainment options from concerts and museums to diverse restaurants and shopping centers. So giving more detail about countryside life, <clears throat> sorry, city life. OK, let's have a look here. Here, this paragraph is countryside. On the other hand, the countryside offers a peaceful and healthy lifestyle. The environment is less polluted, which can be beneficial for physical health. Uh, my friend John, who lives in a small village, blah, blah, blah. So again, we've got the key uh, benefits of countryside life and we've got personal experiences. In my view, both city and countryside living have their merits. This is the conclusion. However, I personally prefer city life. Despite the noise and hustle, I enjoy the diversity and opportunities that a city provides. Um, so this is giving an opinion about liking the city more than the countryside and it has personal experiences and feelings which is exactly what we need okay let's scroll down useful expressions and vocabulary for task two <clears throat> so we have a lot of useful things here um, I won't go through all of them. I will just choose some very useful ones. These two, I think, are very useful. Urban lifestyle and rural living. So urban lifestyle. This means the way of life in a big city, including all the things people do, like jobs, activities and socialising. It's busy and fast paced. And then rural living, which is the opposite of urban lifestyle. This means life in the countryside or in small towns. It's usually slower and quieter than city life. 
Um, let's scroll down and have a look at some others. I think that access to amenities is a very useful one. You can use this about the city and the countryside. This means being, easy, being able to easily use things like shops, restaurants, hotel, sorry, hospitals and schools. Big cities usually have better access to amenities. OK, and why don't we make an example sentence using this? Cities tend to provide much better access to amenities than the countryside. Um, other ones, quality of life. This is, um, this is a very useful expression for this kind of essay. Quality of life. This means how good or bad a person's life is based on things like their health, comfort and happiness. Uh, some people think the quality of life is better in the countryside. OK, so let's make a sentence. Um, quality of life might be better or worse depending on where you live and what kind of life you prefer. For example, um, young people might consider quality of life to be much better in big cities. OK, that's quality of life. Uh, public transportation, peace and serenity, economic opportunities. Um, let's do economic opportunities. So this basically means are there ways that we can make money? These are chances to make money or to have a good job. Big cities often have more economic opportunities. Well, that is a good sentence. Big cities often have more economic opportunities. That is fine. We don't need to add to that. OK, tips. Understand the question. Yeah, that's why I keep um, I keep going back and checking the question. We need to make sure we know what the question is asking us. Plan your answers uh, before you start writing. Plan your answer. So that's what I did. I did this like introduction, and then I did the uh, the key points which I was going to cover. I was going to talk about the the good and bad things about city life and about countryside life. Um, that made it very easy. So actually, I wrote a long essay and it wasn't difficult because I had a useful plan. This was like my, my foundation, my framework. Write a clear introduction, of course. Um, <clears throat> you can mention that there are different op opinions about where it's better to live and that you will discuss the benefits of both. <clears throat> Organize your ideas. Yep. When we write an essay like this, um, we shouldn't just say random things. We should try to have structure. Um, and this is how, if we have a plan, it's much easier to organize our ideas. So you can see here, one way to do this is to devote one paragraph to discussing the benefits of city life, another paragraph to discussing the benefits of country life. And use examples. The question asks you to use examples from your own life or things you've heard or read. It literally says that in the question. So that's what we need to do. We shouldn't just say um, city life is good because of this and countryside life is good because of that. We should give examples. We should say uh, my friend lives in a big city and he likes it because or I live in a small town and it's very comfortable because Right, I think that is enough about task two. Um, I hope this was useful for you. Please let me know in the comments how I can make this better for you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.